Good afternoon, everyone. My wife and I recently we took a trip up to the great state of Maine, up on the coast, did a little fishing, watched some seals, just basically relaxed for a week. While I was up there, I uh, bought a pair of axes. They're not old axes, they're new axes. Actually, I bought a hatchet. This one's called the Kindling Maker. And this one's called the uh, Camper, I think it's called. Hunter Trapper Camper, perhaps. Uh, this one is not a full 28 inch handle. It's not much over 24. We'll get that out of the way. They're supposed to be pound and three quarter heads, but they're on the solid side for pound and three quarter, which is fine. That's not important. They're American made. They're made in S Y S M Y Smira S M Y R N A Maine, which was about two hours north of where we stayed. I didn't drive up there. I thought a little bit about it, but I didn't. And it's a father and his sons have bought the Snow and McNeely patents and designs. And they're making, remaking the Snow and McNeely axes. Now, I have never held an authentic Snow and McNeely. Never seen one in, other than pictures. I bid on eBay a couple times, never been successful on getting one. So I can't compare to that and I am going to do a comparison test between these and the council tool. Um, they're both the same price. I probably paid too much, I don't know, 60 bucks piece, 63 something and some change. One is, like I just said, the kindling maker, the short handle. They're both the same head. They're both 100% made in the USA, handles and everything. I don't think handles are probably made in Maine. The one... Uh, they're very dull. They're beyond dull. Now I've worked this one a little bit with a file. And I'm going to... Uh, I mean, they're just... I would never do that with my council tools and get caught. Right out of the box, the council tools were much sharper. These are pretty sad. I know they say, well, they keep them dull so they don't get um, cut in the store looking at them. Of course, the handle has a finish on it. The edge does have something on it to keep it from rusting. I gotta clean that off this one. I've cleaned it off this one. I pretty much filed it off. Alcohol didn't seem to have much effect on it. I am gonna finish taking the decals off. I did chop a little kenneling with this one. They're not bad as far as the thickness here goes. They're a little cheeky. But that depends on what you want to do with an axe. If you're going to make kindling, well and you're splitting soft wood, you want more of a you know, not like that. That's exaggerating. You don't want it right down, you know, shaving sharp. So I'm probably not going to tear that down a lot. Some, because it, it is. It's very sharp. But they're a nice looking axe. They have the name on them. They're all American made. I believe I read that they're Amish. The man is of Amish faith, I guess would be the right word. It's making these and he and his sons are doing it. I bought the two Hudson Bay because I love the Hudson Bay pattern. They have a hatchet that they have out. It's a smaller hatchet. It's a nice looking hatchet. It's got a shorter handle, about a, probably a 15, 14, 15 inch handle. This is 19. They have a full axe and they have a boy's axe, which had a nice feel to it. Um, for me, I will eventually take a little out of here and here and put a little more curve. It's more of my own eye appeal. The 24 inch handle does feel on the short side to me, but I, I bought these more. They were American made. 
And I said, you know what? I'm going to waste a little money here. And I picked this one out. And I started out of the store and I said, I'm here. They've got it. I'm going to buy this one too. Well, I'm going to sharpen these up. I'm not going to... I you might see over there. I've got some nails driven in a stump. I've been filing on it. And it may be a, probably be another video. Get them sharpened up and you'll see what kind of an edge they take because it, it's going to take some work. You know, they are bad. You know, I mean, they split wood. They came with little other sheaths like this, which aren't, uh, aren't great, but they're not bad. They're not a bad little sheath. You know, they're not fabulous. They're higher priced than the council tool, but this isn't a comparison at this time. Anyway, that's what they are. See the name? I hope that's picking that up. It's on the handle. That is etched into the handle, so I'm going to go lightly and hope I don't scratch it out. Thanks for watching.